This video will discuss isothermal processes in thermodynamics, specifically as it relates to the expansion and compression of ideal gases. Okay, so for a monatomic ideal gas, we showed in the statistical mechanics playlist that the internal energy is equal to 3 halves nRT, or 3 halves nKT, number of moles times gas constant times temperature, or number of particles times Boltzmann constant times temperature, nR equals nK. So that's the translational energy for a monatomic ideal gas from statistical mechanics. So what we see here is that for this particular type of ideal gas, the internal energy is directly proportional to the temperature. So during some process, the change in internal energy is going to be proportional to the change in the temperature. So if we have some process where the change in the temperature is going to be zero, then the change in the internal energy of an ideal gas is also going to be zero. So processes where the change in temperature is equal to zero are called isothermal processes. Iso being the root word for same and thermal as it relates to temperature and or heat. Right, so we have that for an isothermal process, our temperature doesn't change. For an ideal gas, if the, temp if the temperature doesn't change, then the internal energy doesn't change. So the internal energy change of a, of a closed system is going to be the heat plus the work that occurs during that process, which we've now said is equal to zero. So thus the heat that occurs during an isothermal process is equal to the negative work. So for a reversible isothermal expansion or compression of an ideal gas, we showed that in the previous video that the reversible expansion or compression of an ideal gas, the work that is done during that process is equal to negative nRT log V final over V initial, number of moles, gas constant, temperature, final volume of system, and initial value of, volume of system. So the heat that it, so we're doing work. So whatever work we do is negative NRT log V final over V initial. So the heat that we need to input into the system or remove from the system needs to be equal and opposite to the amount of work that the system does. So if the system expands and does work on the surroundings, we need to add in some heat to, add, to give the energy back so that the process is isothermal and the temperature doesn't change. If the gas gets compressed and work is done on it, then we need to release some heat to the surroundings to make sure that the gas doesn't increase its temperature or its energy. So the heat that we have during that process, during the reversible isothermal expansion or compression of an ideal gas, is going to be plus nRT times natural log of V final over V initial, number of moles of gas, gas constant, temperature, and our initial and final volume of the gas.